Hey guys, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood abuse here. Uh, we got another speedrun. This is basically the same situation as last time. I was watching a stream and wanted to just play some Slay the Spire. Uh, and this is a PB by a little bit. Not too terribly good. It would have been a lot better if I was just faster at the start. Um, basically, first act is where the worst of my time is. But hey, this time I didn't mess up my split. So first of all, you saw... I immediately went for the transform on two defense, um, and I hit shockwave and feed, which actually ended up being very good for this run. Um, and as as you can see, you know it's taken me a, a second or two because here's the thing: uh, this was only my second attempt. I made it to the first boss run was looking pretty interesting, and then I died, and then I was just like, oh. Okay, and then I went for the next attempt, and it was this one. So, uh, I was still a little groggy, still a little out of it as far as speedrunning goes there. I took a bludgeon, because I think bludgeon is very good. Uh, I just haven't ever really had a good opportunity to use bludgeon. And I thought, yeah, may as well just take it this time. Uh, strawberry, of course, going along with the theme. Singing bowl, keeping with the theme. What I found really cool about this run, though, is that I was able to PB, and this run does not include... Well, it does include Whirlwind, but not much of Whirlwind, to be fair. Uh, I think I get it... Do I get it in Act 3? I definitely get it late. I probably used it, like, three times total in the run. Um, so it wasn't really a Whirlwind run, and it wasn't a Necronomicon run, and I'm very happy about that. And here, it, I took, like, actually ten seconds to figure out that, oh, yes, I do indeed need to pop that potion if I do want to feed on that guy. Uh, and I did. I did want to feed, especially because it was early enough. Popping a potion doesn't really have an enormous downside. Here, I was trying to figure out if I could have fed on one of these guys. As it turns out, no. Um, so I just went for the, the split damage, get them all prepped. And then... I found lethal. Don't worry, I did it. <laughs> and here I decided actually going for the elite because I do already have a bludgeon and a perfected strike. And so the elite is like pretty free in theory. Again, I was trying to figure out if I could have used feed, bludgeon just straight kills. And uh, as it turns out, you can use feed in that situation. I wanted to think about the battle trance, but I decided against it. Mostly because I'm not the biggest fan of battle trance in general. I think the first one's good, and I probably should have taken it. But, uh, I don't know. It, it feels like it kind of makes things a little weird. But, anyway, we picked up, uh, as you already saw, we did pick up the flower from uh, shop. And I did pick up the ashes from that elite. The ashes are fine. Yeah, they're fine. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I fought the elite for it. Again, Act 1 is pretty much the slowest. Well, I don't think it's literally the slowest. Act 2, I just absolutely tore through. It just flew by. Uh, I also got the worst final boss that you can get in a speedrun, as far as I know. Um, and that is the Awakened one and uh, I was able to defeat it. Admittedly, it was a lot closer than you'd hope, but uh, I was able to defeat the Awakened One, so, you know, here we are. First boss, though, Slime Boss, not too bad. I was hoping that I could get him really, really low. Uh, here I was debating between second Bludgeon and max HP. I did take the second Bludgeon, and luckily I got an Energy Relic as well. Bark of Pain is fine, as long as you're not a Clash deck. Um, and especially if you can actually utilize the wounds positively at all, say, uh, I mean, uh, I guess, oh, what's the card even called? Immolate, I think? I barely have even used that card, but I loved every second of me using it. But anyway, you can see how ridiculous this is so far with the max HP, right? It's very clear that our maximum hit points are pretty high. I duplicated Perfected Strike there, because it does count towards Strike count. And also just, you know, doubling the likelihood of getting uh, perfected strikes. Here, I had a really tough call, honestly. Um, I did want to remove the final defend for sure. And then beyond that, I wasn't certain what I wanted to buy. But I did settle on the blood vial. Because my assumption was, I don't really want to rest too much. So I want to I want to be able to have, you know... Also, I wasted an energy. Uh, I wanted to have... 
the stuff, right? I wanted to I wanted to have um, as much health as possible without resting because as I'm adding all of these extra cards to my deck, I do want to upgrade every single one of them. And uh, as it turns out, I am pretty much able to do that, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you'll notice here again, I'm in an awkward spot where I can't actually feed on any of them, which is really unfortunate. Actually, could I have? Wait, 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 wait. I totally could have. Right? Yeah, I totally could have fed on the Centurion, right? I think so. Yeah, I think I missed out on 3 max HP. Whoops! Oh, so there's there's where I get Whirlwind about halfway through Act 2. Uh, it was pre-upgraded as well, which is convenient. Got Vajra, which, of course, yeah, just toss it on the pile, right? Like, you just, you just want more strength, right? You always want more strength. Uh, I went for the Relic. Unfortunately, that did not pay off. It anti-paid off. Um, because I got the the Frozen Egg, which, as you'll note, will not do anything for me. Uh, and on top of it, in fairness, removing the Curse. I wasn't likely going to remove any of the other cards. Like, I have perf two Perfected Strikes in the deck and a Twin Strike, and those are easily the worst cards in the deck, but they actually amp up or rather, the regular strikes and the twin strike are the worst cards in the deck, but they do ramp up perfected strike, which is not irrelevant. Uh, here, you'll notice that I actually I could have poisoned the automaton on the previous turn before I bashed, um, and I would have actually successfully had Voln on him, and he'd actually be quite a bit lower than he is now. So I did mess up there, but... I decided to just focus the automaton. Uh, I, I basically made the call that like I'm only gonna die when he hyper beams, and knowing that he doesn't go from the 10x2 straight into hyper beam, he always has a power up in between. Um, I just went for it, and as you'll see, the hyper beam would kill me, but luckily, we have plenty of damage with those bludgeons. I saw offering, I just took it. It's there's an argument to be made for Reaper, and then I took Curse Key because. Uh, it's a tough call, honestly. I think the feather is very valuable for a speedrun, but uh, I think the extra energy, especially with two bludgeons, two perfected strikes, is pretty relevant. And then, of course, we have whirlwind, so there's that potential as well. And you can see I did a tremendous amount of damage, and that wasn't even with bludgeon. And I was able to feed another perfected strike. Um, and then here, what did I do? Yeah, I perfected strike that guy, and then... Right, 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 okay. That makes perfect sense. I was trying to... Uh, there was one of these fights that I, I remember thinking, like... No, I messed up there. But, like, not, like, literally here. That was my thought process. Um, that fight went fine, though. One of these fights, I, I did something stupid as hell. This fight is a little annoying when you, you know, remove all the defense from your deck. But, uh, I, I got there. I figured it out. Um, you know what? I should have bludgeoned. Why didn't I bludgeon far right guy? That wasn't the mistake I was talking about, but it is a mistake. I don't know why I did that first. Like, I was like, Voln is going to deal more damage. But, like, they were dead. <laughs> I didn't have to do the math to figure out that they were dead to a seven energy whirlwind, right? Like... Uh, I did take the relic for the or the the red mask because I was potentially going to hit up a shop late on this floor, but the red mask is automatically quite a bit better in pretty much all situations. I feel like I, I just think it's generally a very good pickup. Also, to be fair, I didn't pay attention to who my boss was, and part of it was uh, me thinking, "Oh, well, if I get Donu and Deca, <laughs> this will be convenient." Um, but as it turns out, I could have looked. I just, I, I know that I saw it. I just didn't commit it to memory, right? That's basically it. Look at that turn. Look at that butte. I was hoping to draw feed here, but unfortunately did not get there. But as you can see, we got Peace Pipe, which was very lucky considering we had to open a chest to get it, a, an extra chest to get it, which thus gave us an extra curse and thankfully it you know it was able to remove itself but unfortunately we do keep writhe all the way f out from here i was debating whether or not to madness strike and i yeah i decided against it simply because we have so many good cards 
to hit madness with. So I just thought it would make, make a lot more sense. And then here, oh, look at this turn. What a turn this one is. Look at that. Oh. And then you know what? One bludgeon there and one bludgeon there. Both dead. Easy. Love it. Didn't want any. That was, I was like, uh, get rid of the thing. But we, we got rid of the right thing. We got the energy potion. Losing strike is fine. Obviously, that does hurt perfected strike. But when you compare strike to offering, it's like actually just no contest. So uh, here I wasn't sure who I wanted to focus. But I decided to try and kill the repulsor. I just messed up on the numbers thing. Uh, I don't really know how. But I did. Luckily. And I did want to get the feed on this turn. Because... They should die, right? Like, my, my thought process was, like, this is a, about a million damage, like, roughly one million. Uh, I shouldn't have spent this long shopping. I know that was, like, literally two seconds, but I shouldn't have spent that long. But here we go. Awaken one. I have 122 life entering, and then, of course, immediately down to 118. But look at this turn. So I can perfect the strike, which leaves him at one. Then I can feed, and then I can perfect the strike the other dude. Look at that. Ain't that a beaut. That... that recovered all of the life that was lost from the offering and as you can see the power of bludgeon is it's pretty fucking real you know what i should have madnessed i should have um i could have made that bludgeon free oh i could have actually oh i could have done a, a good amount more damage that turn how much more 13 plus 24 Four, right i could have done 37 more damage and had a free bludgeon from here on out Oof. and then i should have played twin strike before the w look this last fight was messy in fairness this boss sucks bad for speed running look at that 23 and he's gonna hit for 18 luckily you know i drew poorly that turn so the minus energy didn't matter but then this turn of course i'm dead unless we kill him there you go. So 12.13 was my time. Uh, as you can see now, you can see the run timer, and it just stops on last hit. So 12.09 is my in-game time. That is a personal best. In fact, I don't even... What was my last time? Uh, I will tell you in a moment. As the video, thankfully, looks at, you know, the run history and then other stuff. Uh, 12.29... 1232. 1229, 1232. So, um, I guess in game time, it was a PB by. How does math work? 1, 2, 3, 13 seconds, which isn't significant. Um, wait, no, not 13. 23? Wait. Yeah, 23 second PB. That's pretty good. Again, this is without Necronomicon, so. I'm very happy with the way it worked out. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, su like, subscribe. Do I don't know, man. Just whatever. You know the outro shtick. You've watched enough YouTube videos. You know what I'm trying to say here. Goodbye forever.